people this is Shimon from the future uh, I hope you gonna enjoy this video uh, but anyway I wanted to talk a bit about the team as well because my file got a bit corrupted in the beginning talking about the team but yeah we've got a Indeedee with Psychic Seed follow me helping hand trick room psychic the classic uh, this Indeedee is legal VGC legal because you can catch it in a rate even though it doesn't learn trick room any other way it is surprising, but it is allowed. Then we've got Armor Rouge with Safety Goggles, Terra Blast, Heat Wave, Expanded Force. And that Terra Blast is very important because it's Terra Fairy, specifically for uh, most of the time Hydreigons and maybe even other dragons. Because Hydreigon has been running amok quite a bit. Uh, then we've got Golden Go, which is just pretty standard. And then we've got Baxcalibur with the best animation, that is Glaive Rush, which I really am a fan of. And of course Annihilate because I'll be real, I think Annihilate is pretty much the best Pokemon right now. It, it's so good, you have to be so careful of it. Even when it's just Final Gambits, it is very detrimental role. And then as last one, we, we've got Mudsdale with its, uh, Stamina Choice Band to hit things really hard. This team actually won our first Belgium VGC local. This is made by Elias as well. And uh, you can even get the link code, like the code here as well. You can see it, X74VQY. So definitely check out the team and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Goodbye. Ah, finally got to master rank. So we're uh, doing some more team buildings as well. Let's take a look. Okay. The armor rouge is also Terra Fairy, which is very nice for versus uh, Hydreigon and such. And honestly, it's looking kind of good right now. If I'm able to set up Trick Room, which I most likely am, it's actually looking very good. Uh, I could go Annihilate, just Final Gambit, something next to me. Hmm. I'm kind of afraid of the Corviknight, but if I keep my Armor Rouge well alive, it should be fine. Max Calibre is also very nice with the Assault Vest being able to tank quite some hits. The other thing that I'm quite afraid of is the Garganacle. It is, it stays a threat uh, if it's able to get up a Iron Defense plus Body Press. That stuff is very scary. Okay, let's see what we get. Race Ruski. Nice profile picture there. Okay, but this team, uh, this team is very fun. Okay, Gengar Garganacle. So they might go for Explosion, in all honesty. Terra Normal Explosion. Um, I do not have Protect, which is very unfortunate. But I think I'm able to just Final Gambit and just uh, take out the Garganacle. I'm not risking. He might be sturdy as well. I'm not risking anything right now. Indeed, he is also a fine switching because of normal typing. Gengar won't be able to shut a ball. Alright, we see the final gamut go off. We are able to take down the Garganacle, which is very nice for us. That means the Gengar is free to do whatever it wants. Going for a Shadow Ball, and indeed, uh, indeed he is a normal type, so won't be affected. Okay, now that we have Indeedy on as well, we are able to potentially trick him with that. Okay, Garchomp being able to Earthquake isn't really the greatest thing for me. Um, but I do... If I follow me, he's still gonna Earthquake. I could Terra Fairy, survive. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that then. Terra, and then just Trick Room. So my Bax Calibre is able to come in as well. If he's gonna Earthquake as well, uh, it will hurt his Gengar, so he might actually protect, just protect his Gengar. Because I believe that Gengar is gonna be Focus Ash. Well, it's tended to be run Focus Ash. I'm not saying it is.
Okay, we see the Swords Dance coming out. Okay. Very scary there. Gengar going for the Trick Room while I'm going for the Trick Room as well. Wow. Well played. Okay, since that happened, I'm gonna Trick Room with Ndidi. Oh, I don't have White Guard, unfortunately. That would have been very nice. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Terror Blast on the Garchomp, though. I don't believe Gengar's... Do Gengar's carry Sludge Bomb a lot? Goes for the Shadow Ball. Quite, quite a lot of chip. Holy mackerel. Yeah, Armor Rouge is dead. Indeed, he still lives. Gengar with the Focus Ash. <coughs> Able to survive. But I'm able to set up Trick Room, because I have two Trick Room setters. That's the nice thing about Indeed with Trick Room. Which is, on its own, a glitch. And it is legal, by any means, because you can catch it in a raid then, meaning you can uh, use it for this as well. Okay, so I'm able just to Psychic here, and I'm just gonna Icicle Sphere the Garchomp. There we go. And my Ndidi is certainly slower than the Gengar, so I'm able to Psychic that. Luckily, he didn't protect earlier with, when he Earthquaked, so uh, that gave me the option to actually KO it as well. Because if it still had a Sash, he could reverse Trick Room, which would have been kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Well, I don't know what I would have done. Also, if you like my uh, my sweater, it's a 3-Rex. Please, please leave a like for that. Yes, it's a terrible joke, but still. Alright, uh, we're just gonna help him hand Icicle Sphere. Oh wait, did he already Terra? He did not Terra yet. Hmm. I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna Terra Brick Break. If he goes Terra... Because he hasn't terra yet, right? I don't think he has. So I do wanna risk it. So just gonna go for Brick Break in case he was Terra Steel. But he was not. Very nice, very good game. Game one, nice. Looks like we found our opponent. Let's take a look. All right, dodge button, so can be hit by a fire move. Looks like a semi trick room as well. Well, a very decent trick room at that. And I live is looking mighty good. And unfortunately, I am terra flying. I think I can just final game at something, at least. Just in needy, for a terrain possibly. Is Scovillain any good? Uh, I, to be good. I apparently forgot to mute. Forgot to mute in the Discord. My bad. <laughs> I let people watch sometimes as well. Uh, Armourouge is still good. Honestly, I want to bring back Scalabar again. I really like him. He's so cool. Oh, but he doesn't do that much. I think I need to go golden go. <laughs> I need to go golden. Golden go. <laughs> Alright. Mawaya. Thanks for the battle, Mawaya. I will be happily taking those points. Alright, support grandma in the back. Like a male indeedy. It's faster than my indeedy. Might even be a scarf, but it should still be slower. Uh, let's take a look. If I... Honestly, if I just am able to just find a gamma disc, that's actually fine. Something able to switch in. No ghost types. I just want to make sure that I take care of this. Uh, while I can go for a Trick Room, I don't want to because um, the Torquoise would be in a better position than my own. So I'm just going to Psychic. Final Gambit. 
and kill that off. Huge threat to me. And now it's just Indeedee versus Indeedee right now. Wow, is that Specs? No, crit. That happens too. And a split death drop, that happens. I get a split death drop as well. Okay, we are able to go... We should... Be, try and think. I want to go Armor Rouge because... Um, I really don't want Torkoal coming in. Okay, it is the Azumarill. I am able to Terra Water... Uh, Terra Fairy. Terra Blast with Expanding Force. And I could Helping Hand because I did Spit Death Drop the previous Ndidi. Now Super Mario can go for Aqua Jet, but what is it able to do? Parish Song? Could Parish Song. Could be a Parish Song set. Alright, we see the Terra. The hero we need. Armor Rouge. Warrior of Love. <laughs> right, Helping Hand with the Expanding Force should feel like a Q. Could be not as well. Hyper Voice. Oh, it's faster than my Armor Rouge. Okay, but I survived. Thank you for my change of typing. Thank God. Ooh, barely not able to Q it. But I'm able to follow me plus uh, Armor Rouge right now, though. That is a fast, fast as a real. Other armor rouge comes in as well. Uh, what's my option against that? I can shadow ball that. As long as he does a terra do, that's the issue. So I do go for an expanding force. I do go for a follow me. So the Zumarill goes for me first. Yeah. Unless his armor rouge is also a fast variant, which means I'm quite in trouble. Take a look. Trick. Choice Scarf on the EDD now. Wait, now I'm faster than the Azumarill. Was it a Speed Tie? Damn. Speed Tie with Azumarill. Okay, so it's only the Armor Rouge versus me. I'm just gonna expanding force since in the psychic train that is the most powerful. And I'm thanks to the scarf I'm able to scar psychic as well. Maybe even getting a spin F drop. Good chip. Going for expanding force himself is able to KO V them. Uh that means it's only my golden go right now. Now, I am trying to think what my stats is of my golden goal. Speed is 80. Uh, his armor rouge was faster than mine, so I have the potential to be faster. The issue is, I'm very, very unsure. I am able to go for a protect once though, uh, just to see what he goes for. And maybe even changing his terror type to KO me. Poor grandma waving her arms around. Alright, protect. Let's see what it goes for. Armor cannon. That will definitely obliterate me. It's not heat wave, so it won't miss. So I need to hope that I'm faster, or else this is a uh, pretty much GG. Let's take a look. No, nope, not faster. Unfort. Ah, I am a trick mainly trick room team. Oh, I survived! <laughs> Excuse me, a bit sick, but holy heck, Golden Go? Oh my god! Golden Go popping off. 
Uh, live orb recoil though. <laughs> I do die, but they faded first, so that means I win. Should mean I win. Wow, very close match there. Holy heck. There we go. Opposing trainer has been found. Let's get it. All right, Kevin has a hard trick room team. This is hard trick room. So, this should do still fine, but Torqual plus hmm, would obliterate me. So, I think I am going with this. I don't. I haven't seen a really good option when to use uh, Mudsdale yet, and it's unfortunate because I really want to use it. It is very slow, but it's not slower than Torqual, which means it's not that good for me right now. All right, let's try this. We'll try it anyway. We'll do it live. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just saying things. Please leave a like and subscribe to this video. All right, Kevin. Oh, is this Kevin? <laughs> Yo, wow. Freaking Kevin. Yeah, grandma pop off on this music. All right, now I leave. So it's clear what they're gonna do. They're gonna try to set up trick room as well. I'm gonna deny them trick room. Uh, Indeedy fainting is the best thing that can happen. So I'm gonna let Indeedy faint. It's gonna follow me. Uh, and trick rooms to make sure that the Torqual doesn't come in for free. Now, they might be thinking that I'm gonna reverse their trick room or just gonna let them trick room. But it's really hard to know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Goes for the final gambit. So goodbye, Ndidi. Right, what is the Torkoal going for? Torkoal? Uh, not the Torkoal. The monkey. I set up Trick Room. He's going after me, so he set up Trick Room as well. Let's go. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. Trick Room is reversed. Perfect for me. Means I can go to my Annihilate and be able to just uh, kill something as well. Which is definitely gonna be this uh, Hariyama. Or I could kill the Yoran Guru actually. Making sure to do some set of Trick Room. Yeah, let's go for that. And I'll just Expanding Force. Because the Hariyama is probably gonna fake out my Armor Rouge. And if it does fake out my armor rouge, uh, I won't be able to do anything, but that's fine as long as I'm able to deny his trick room. He's really doubting what he can do now. I think we played that immaculately. Like two Pokemon will be gone in two turns. Well, four Pokemon will be gone in uh, two turns. That's actually... Final gamut away. Oh my god, is he Terra Ghost? There just ain't no. Oh no, it's the Hariyama. Terra Steel! Okay. Going for the fake out. Oh yeah, Saggy Terrain. I even forgot about Saggy Terrain, so goodbye, monkey. That is very helpful for me. That is a huge axe on that Hariyama, specifically. Like. I feel like most hats are big, but like Hariyama's hat is really big. Yeah, expanding Force not doing that much since Hariyama is now a Steel type. Okay, we were able to deny Trick Room, uh, and now it's two v two. Now Hariyama's Flame Orb could activate right now, and both my Pokémon are faster than. Uh, Whatever they have there in the back. I am gonna expanding force the Torqual, Torqual and Brick Break just for a bit of chip on the hurry. I did not expect that to kill. I'll be honest, I Hariyama, Hariyama is a big boy. I thought he was gonna live. 
Oh my god. This was a perfect game. Oh, wait, you're Sash? You're not Sash, you just survived naturally. That is amazing. Uh, all right, I just want to show off Glee for us because I love that move. I think it's a funny move. I'm just going to click Trick Room because... No, let me use Glee Rush. It's such a funny move. Uh, unfortunate. Well, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the rental code will be posted yet again on the screen as well. Uh, you can see it there. Take it. It's a very fun team to use. I truly do recommend it. And uh, that's it. I'll leave a link to the person who made it as well if they have a Twitter. Because I don't recall if they have Twitter. But they're on Discord. Anyway, but that's it. See you guys next time. Bye.